Remember this guy? You're gonna buy me a coat? I'm just wondering what you're wearing. Bro, I wear my own coat, man. Whoa, whoa, what's wrong? You're gonna buy me a coat? Sometimes, sometimes, mate. If people are trying to hide things or wear baggy clothes, try and cover it up. Listen, are you gonna buy me a coat? You buy me a new coat right now, I'll give you this coat right now. I'm asking what are you wearing? You're gonna buy me a new coat? We don't want your coat. We're asking why you're wearing it. You're not dressed for the climate. Because I wear I wear anything I want, man. I wear anything I want. What are you what's wrong with you? You're not dressed for the climate, so it's very What do you mean the climate? Who who tells me No no who tells me who told me how to dress, man? Can you tell no, me how to dress? No, it, it just seems Can you tell me how to dress? It just seems so, mate, I'm just nah, man, don't ever talk to me. Yeah, go on, go on. Do whatever you want to do. Do whatever you want to do. Stopped for wearing a coat. I mean, <laughs> really. Well, it's come to light that he has now been stopped a second time within six days of the original video. Eric Taylor says he feels targeted by police after being stopped and searched on two occasions just six days apart for no apparent reason. In the latest incident, Eric says he was cornered by three police cars on Monday, March 28th at 10.15pm on his way back from picking up some food from a nearby restaurant. During both stops, the 20-year-old was detained and searched, but nothing was found. A formal complaint was filed and is being handled by the Metropolitan Police. But now Eric says he's scared to go out and is considering cutting his hair or changing his looks in order to leave the house without being stopped by police. Eric said, it's crazy. I don't know. I don't even know how it happened to me again. Just right now, again. I'm scared now. I don't know. Yesterday, the whole night, I was shaking the whole time. Eric was with a friend in the car on their way back from getting food after work. Eric said, my friend said there was a car following us. And I was like, why? I told him to just keep driving normal because obviously we know that we didn't do, have anything on us. We weren't running away from anyone, so we drove normally. We were followed for a good five minutes. Neither of the boys had noticed another police car, but as they turned a corner, they were allegedly blocked in by three vehicles. Eric said it was like it was planned. Three cars cornered us. Come on now, Eric. Really? Of course it was planned. You dared to embarrass them. Which, to be fair, we should all be doing far more often. Until, at least, they get the message that we are not their playthings to be abused. Eric said, I thought I've been targeted. As soon as I got out of the car, they said I was shouting, but I wasn't shouting. I was asking them, why are you guys stopping us? I had my food in my hand and my phone, and they said they were stopping us on Section 60 of the Criminal Justice and Public Order Act 1994. I said, is it because you saw two black boys in a car? Is that why you're stopping us? Eric says that the police then put him in handcuffs, but claims that one police officer took his phone and deleted the video he was recording. Which there should be evidence of. I mean, you think how easy it is for the police to get back files that, you know, let's say abusers had on their phone and have deleted. It shouldn't be too difficult for them to pull back a video that he'd taken of that interaction. But this is one reason why you need something like OBS so you can live stream. But then no doubt they'll just say that they couldn't find a file on the phone anyway. And you've got no way of proving it. Because the Met are more crooked than the crooked man who lived in a crooked house with the crooked stairs. Eric said that one of the officers deleted the video. They started touching my phone and I shouted, please don't touch my phone. Don't delete the video. It's for my own safety. Don't touch my phone. She deleted the video on my mum's life. God strike me down. She deleted the video. I was thinking, you've got your body cam rolling, but you deleted my video. What's the point? Well, considering there were three vehicles, they must have had to talk to each other over the radios to coordinate the stop. So there would also be proof of who was there because they would have had to call each other. It would be recorded. They would be able to identify from those, from those uh, recordings who was talking, which vehicles. So they'll be able to work out who was actually there. So it shouldn't be too difficult to find out who it was that deleted the video, if, if it, it indeed was deleted. And I'm only saying that because we've only got his word for it, and I'm not sticking up for the police here, but let's be fair. It's easy to say we had something when we didn't. So just putting it out there. Eric said, they said, this is the lad on the news, and they started being nice. I said, your people stopped me not long ago, and that's why I feel like I need to get my phone out and start talking. Some of you guys are misjudging us for the way we look, and you try to stop us for the way we look all the time. 
The police let him go, but when Eric got back into the car, he said he was shaking and that he felt targeted for speaking out about the stop and search days before. He said, I didn't even eat my food when, I sat, when we sat in the car. I was shaking. I'm scared. It feels like I'm being targeted. I need to make sure I've always got my camera on because they can't say anything. I don't know who is coming to arrest me. I don't trust some of the police. Sometimes there, sometimes there won't be anyone there to see you or something. I have to get my phone ready. When I got home, I just sat in a chair. Ever since the first thing happened, I haven't eaten in three days. I feel empty. I feel so empty. I want to know if there are. I want to know if they are there for us or against us. Can we not work together? It's crazy. I asked God why. I want to. Ch I want changes for my people. Have I done something wrong? I asked myself. Why is this coming to me? Why does it have to be me again? Now, personally, I, I don't think this was a racist thing. I don't think this was to do with racism. I know there are people out there that will argue with that fact or with that opinion. To be honest, Eric hasn't used the word racist or racism. He, he did say, however, my people. I want changes for my people, which obviously would indicate that he's talking about black people. But this, to me, seems more like retaliation for showing them up. I could be wrong, of course, but it seems to be exactly how some police act and have acted in the past, sticking up for colleagues, knowing that their colleague can't go near the person because there's been a complaint made against them. So they do the job for them. It'll be interesting to see uh, exactly what comes of this one, if anything. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.